Holy crap, the PlayStation 5 pre-order fiasco was a huge mess. So it started yesterday with the PlayStation 5 showcase. We talked about that a bit. Price was announced, launch date, all that good stuff. And in my video, I touched on that. Hey, Sony themselves have confirmed that the pre-orders will be available starting as early as tomorrow morning. So that would have been this morning, right? As early as. That means like no earlier. Like, there'll be later pre-orders as well, right? Like, some retailers tomorrow, some retailers maybe later. Who the hell knows, right? So some of us were like, man, this is going to be a trek here. This is going to be a, a, a an anxiety-filled night. I'm going to have to wait until midnight and see when everything's going live, right? When is it going to go live in the morning? When is, when is everything going? Is East Coast, West Coast? You never know with these things, right? Well, like right after this tweet from PlayStation, these mofos right here, Walmart, took it upon themselves to say, screw whatever PlayStation just said. Make you wait to get the PS5? Nah, hell nah. That's not like us. Go on. Pre-order that bitch now. Mm. What the hell, man? Who's at fault here? Walmart got this ball rolling. Being a little cocky mofos that they are. Hey, we ain't, we ain't making you wait. Go ahead and attempt to pre-order it now, right? A lot of people got their pre-orders from Walmart. A lot of people didn't, but that just got the ball rolling. Everybody else started putting up pre-orders. And it was like, okay, is it, it things lining up with the next day? Is it 9 p.m., 12 a.m.? What the hell? Like I said, it's just crazy. There's so much anxiety with these kind of launches with pre-orders. When you, especially all the crazy crap that's going on in the world, you're just like, is there going to be enough? We've seen how, like, the PS3 and whatnot in the past, people punching babies to get freaking consoles. So it, it seemed like it could be the same thing here. And all these companies, just one right after the other, rolling out the pre orders and people just going crazy. Some people are just like, they got the word, okay, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So they're just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'll, I'll, I'll eat some dinner, take a nap, have a beer, whatever, in whatever order you so choose, and set my alarm and check it out right no nah. all these companies man best buy target walmart amazon i think sam's club put them up today which they're walmart anyway so what does it matter right i mean you had like all these companies jump the gun early throw those pre-orders up and tons of people have missed out there's people who use bots to to scalp this stuff to jump in there and there is tons of them that have sold on ebay for crazy amounts of money. Some have shown a little bit over what retail is. And, you know, all hope is not lost here. I, I would hope. <laughs> but all I got to say is, man, like, why? Don't pay the scalpers, man. If you could wait, don't pay these guys. I mean, just wait it out. Here's like digital model, $500. So like after everything's said and done, free shipping, after the fees, this person didn't make any money. So is this just a, a payday loan? That's what I don't understand with some of these uh, pre-orders. The ones that are like not crazy scalp, like this one's just $100 over. It doesn't make any sense because that's 50, at least $50 gone, at least for the, the eBay fees. Plus, you know, another 3% for PayPal fees and then the shipping costs. So that's going to be like right under a hundred bucks. What do you make? $5? That's why I, I question some of these listings. I think some of them are just payday loans. Like, if you don't know what that means, it's like people will put things up that they don't have to get that money because they're short. Instead of going to, like, you know, I don't even know any of the, the payday loan companies, but instead of going and doing that, taking a payday loan of a couple hundred bucks and then paying it back on your next paycheck, they go to eBay because nothing's lost. They're, they won't get in trouble. Personal file a claim and they'll get their money refunded eventually. And it's a payday loan. That's all it is. That's how some of this stuff seems to me. Some of it may be legit scalpers, but just be very wary. Like, definitely, like, hold out. Wait on this stuff, man. It's just too much. $400. What is this? $400, one bid. Exclusive link to pre-order expires Saturday. So this was just for a link. I will forward the email and link to you. Call or email me. $400. So this was just to pay money to get that pl the link from PlayStation. That's ridiculous. That is crazy. That's not even for a PlayStation. 
<laughs> that's freaking nuts, dude. Like some of these listings went pretty high, like this one up here. And I think it's just a joke because when you look at it, there's no way. Why? why when there's other offers up right now for like $800, why would somebody bid up the 4000 I think people just do that to fuck with these guys. It's like whatever, US Poon J29 feedback here. Uh, $4,000. Guarantee you he didn't get that $4,000. Whoever won this auction was like, screw it, I'm fucking with this guy, right? That is crazy, dude. I, I would definitely say be patient. Uh, Walmart, I know these guys are not everybody's favorite. I don't really care for Walmart myself. But they've said next week, there's been reports. I haven't seen that they've said it, but there's been reports from PR people that Walmart's going to be putting up another allocation of the PlayStation 5 pre-orders come the 22nd. Here's the other thing. Keep tabs on some of these pre-orders, uh, you know, websites out there, the ones that you trust. If you trust Amazon, you trust Best Buy, GameStop, whatever it is, keep tabs on them because they may be getting more allocations as well between now and then. This doesn't come out for a couple months, so there should be more allocations that pop up, people who cancel their pre-orders, that kind of thing you may be able to grab one. With Walmart, it being said that they're going to have another allocation that gets put up next week, keep an eye, man. Like, the, the big thing here is, is like, is it really worth upgrading to the PS5 now? Like, after we've seen everything, we've learned everything, I've dug into it a little bit more with, you know, not really too much exclusive stuff going on. Some of the big name games are going to be on the PS4 as well. So it's like multi-generation games that we found out with Miles Morales, with Horizon. Like they're making multiple ports of it. So a lot of times the, 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 the thought is, is if they do that, they make a multi-generational port. The, the later generation, the newer generation anyway, winds up getting stifled. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't wind up being to its fullest potential because they had to develop it in mind for the previous generation. I mean, that's just an opinion, but that's just things I've seen people say. So is there anything crazy that we're just like, have to have the PS5 now? That's kind of hard to say, man. It's going to be different for everybody, but there you go. My, my little thoughts on this whole fiasco, it was ridiculous. Um, I don't know who should really be like, you can't, can you hold Sony at fault here? You look at this Walmart posting and I feel like you should be sued. PlayStation said the 17th, right? So what happened to our pre-order email? That's the other thing too, is there's so many like websites where they had the PS5 set up and you could put in your email to get notified when pre-orders are going to be available. And they also said uh, that there was going to be, you know, plenty of notice ahead of time. Well, Sony gave us, you know, notice of like, hey, it'll be tomorrow. And then all these retailers, I guess it was tomorrow for them already, right? So yeah, there's there's a lot of people who are jaded out there, $1,000, wow. A lot of people who are upset, but just be patient. And I know it's kind of hard to do. It's definitely with consoles that go up for pre-order, um, definitely can can be a lot of anxiety. I know I get anxious on these things. Is my pre-order good? Are they going to cancel it on me? Uh, like even the day before, are they going to cancel it? Are they not going to ship it? What the hell's happening? Like it, it, it's, it's crazy, man. Just calm down, brief, brief. And that's it. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.